This tutorial is about uh, LEDs and interfacing them to a microcontroller. They come in uh, numerous different sizes, but these are the most common here. You can see how these ones are a bit bigger. These ones are smaller. These are the, the typical ones that most people will probably be playing with because you can actually plug them into a breadboard and use them. And if you look at this one here, you can see how one pin is a little bit longer than the other pin. Because this is a polarized device, the current can only flow through it in one direction. Uh, the pins are marked, and the longer pin is always the pin that goes to the positive part of the power supply. The current flows into this pin and out the other pin. The uh, schematic symbol for a light emitting diode is like this. And then it usually has a little arrow like that to indicate that light comes off of it. That's a light emitting diode. Now how to drive these from your microcontroller. Um, typically the diodes that I just showed you, you would probably get them to work just fine with about um, maybe 5 or 10 milliamps flowing through them. And no more than that. Um, the amount of brightness that comes out isn't doesn't really get much stronger as you increase the current and it's more likely you could burn them out that way. Um, you might have to play around with it a little bit and figure out what kind of current works best for the, the diode. Now um, you cannot drive these diodes directly off of an Arduino for example. An Arduino produces a 5 volts output on the I.O. pin if you remember from a previous tutorial. Um, you have to put a resistor in series with the diode in order to limit the amount of current flowing through the diode. So I will show you how to interface the diode with a resistor. So let's put a resistor in here and let's say we put this end to the zero volts or ground and we'll represent the I.O. pin as plus five volts here and the I.O. pin's high and in this state with the I.O. pin high the LED will turn on and light. But I want to figure out what value of resistance here to keep the uh, the voltage or the current flowing through the LED uh, to a maximum of 10 milliamps or something like that. So one thing about the diode is that uh, the reason why you can't hook it straight up to 5 volts is if you did there would be a horrendous amount of current flowing through the diode for a very short period of time until the diode burned out. Um, when they're running at their normal um, in their normal operations with the right amount of current flowing through them, there's approximately one and a half to two volts across the diode. This voltage will increase as you increase the amount of current, but the, you have to get, in order to get five volts across the diode, if you had no resistor there, this was shorted out, um, you would have to pump uh, probably a number of amps of current through the diode, and it's just not made to handle that. It works best in this voltage range. So how do I pick um, a resistor here to um, limit the current? Well, it's kind of the voltage divider that I explained a little earlier in my resistor tutorial. And what we do is we figure out what the voltage is across this resistor and apply Ohm's law in order to uh, figure out the value of resistance is. So our desired current flowing through the diode in this direction is Let's make it 10 milliamps, okay? We have five volts across the whole circuit and one and a half to two volts is across the diode. So the rest of the voltage of the five volts is dropped across this resistor. So we apply Ohm's law and that's how we get it. Ohm's law, as you remember, is equal to V equals the current times the resistance. So the voltage across this resistor is equal to current flowing through it, which is this current, flows through the diode and the resistor, it's the same current, times the value of the resistor. So I want to figure out what the resistor is. So I'll rearrange my Ohm's law equation to be R equals V across the resistor divided by I. And so what's V across the resistor? Well, it's the residual voltage from the five volts left over when you subtract the one and a half to two volts. So we'll go 5 volts from the whole thing 
minus, we'll use two volts here, divided by 10 milliamps. And when you um, do the math, you'll come up with 300 ohms. That's the symbol for ohms. Now, something I didn't mention in my resistor tu tu tutorial, in my resistor divided tutorial, is that um, you can't get just any value of a resistor. Um, they are manufactured in what's called preferred values. And the, the typical quarter watt carbon film resistor, 5% resistor, comes in a range of preferred values, and 300 ohms is not one of those values. The, um, the closest values around it are 270 ohms, 270 or 330 ohms. So those are the only two you can get. So um, you could probably put in a 270 ohm resistor here and it would be safe. Uh, it's a little bit smaller, so a little bit more current is going to flow, but I think it'll be okay. If you're worried, you can put in a 330 ohm resistor, and I think the LED would light up just as well. And so that's how you do it. Um, it's pretty simple. Put a resistor in series. Using this relationship, you can figure out the value of resistor. Um, and that resistor doesn't have to go here. It can go up in here as well, and the diode can be connected directly to ground. If um, you can put the I.O. pin on either end of this circuit and get it to work. If, if the I.O. pin is connected to this side and this side is connected to ground, then the, you have to make the I.O. pin go high in order to turn the, the diode on. If this is connected to 5 volts and this end is connected to the diode or to the microcontroller pin, then you have to make the controller pin go low in order to turn the diode on. The ends of the diode are uh, given names, and the positive end, or the what I call the blunt end, is called the anode, and designated with just an A. And the pointy end of the diode, the negative end, is called the cathode. So um, I think that's about it, at least what you really need to know in order to uh, use a light emitting diode or to interface to it. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful, and uh, we'll see you the next time. Thanks.